I'm in Berlin in order to have meetings with the foreign ministry and chancellery about the conflict in Ukraine. Uh, this is an area where Germany has played an important leadership role through the Normandy format, also with France. And it's been very important that the United States, Germany, and France stay very close together so that we are not offering different alternatives or solutions in our respective conversations with Russia. Uh, the Ukrainian conflict is one where Russia has invaded and occupied eastern Ukraine. The conflict is not a frozen conflict. It's a hot war where there is fighting every day. People are killed every week. And it still demands a sense of urgency from all of us to try to restore peace. The Normandy process is aimed at facilitating the implementation of the Minsk agreements, which contain all the elements necessary for there to be peace. It's just that they've never been implemented. And the U.S.-Russia discussions around Ukraine have been fundamentally about urging Russia to make a different decision, to agree to withdraw its forces and the civilian administrations it created there, and instead see uh, the restoration of peace, the implementation of the Minsk agreements, and ultimately the restoration of Ukrainian control. Uh, we're very closely coordinated, as I said, with France and Germany on this. We have not seen much progress in the last four years, unfortunately. And that means that the humanitarian situation in this territory is getting worse. And to rattle off some of the statistics that are there, we've seen over 10,000 people killed and over a million and a half people displaced by the conflict. Uh, to my reckoning, that is the most number of people killed by a war in Europe since the Balkans Wars. And it is the most number of people displaced by a conflict in Europe since World War II. So it is a major conflict going on just a couple of hours from Berlin. Uh, second, uh, you've seen a degraded uh, humanitarian situation. People have issues with access to food, with uh, uh, lack of economic activity, so they're pressured on the income side, uh, with um, uh, access to clean water, where the Donetsk water filtration plant is frequently under attack, sometimes shuts off. Heat, electricity, energy, cell phone service, mobility, and even uh, access to medicines and the outbreak of disease. And there's a, a form of tuberculosis that has been spreading in eastern Ukraine now. So this is a dire situation for the people that live there. Uh, I want to point out as well that this is not an indigenous conflict or an ethnic conflict in Ukraine. You have Russian-speaking people that live uh, normal, prosperous lives throughout all of Ukraine, Kharkiv, Odessa, Kiev, and so forth. What you don't, what you don't have is just the Russian people, the Russian-speaking people living in eastern Ukraine, enjoying those same opportunities because of the, the Russian invasion and occupation of the territory.